Martha Stewart Crafts Punch Around the Page punches are perfectly designed to create a die cut border around the edge of any page. But did you know that each of the punches in a set can be used individually to create elegant corners on cards, fabulous trims for your scrapbook pages and gift packaging, or even delicate punched medallions? To create a punched corner on the interior folded edge of a card, first start by opening only one wing of your standard punch around the page corner punch. You'll notice that even with one wing closed, there is still a space in the punch mechanism to insert your paper. Line up the fold of the card with the small silver mark on the other side of the punch. Press down firmly on the lever to punch the paper. To punch the other corner of the fold, close one wing and open the other. Insert the card into the punch as before, being sure to line the fold up with the silver mark. And punch. Once you have punched your inner corners, you can also punch your outer corners for a complete look. To create a small, delicate punched medallion like this, start by cutting a one and a half inch strip of paper or cardstock. Holding the strip in one hand, punch both corners of the strip with the standard punch around the page corner punch. Then, punch your interior corners as you did for the folded card, but turn the punch over and line up your pattern like this before punching. The fourth and final punch will release the medallion from the strip of paper. These beautiful medallions can be used to further embellish all of your paper crafts. To create a double-edged trim with your deep edge punch around the page edge punch, start with a two inch strip of paper or cardstock. Insert your strip into the punch and line up the left edge of your strip with the left edge of the punch base wing. And punch. Punch the entire edge of your strip of paper using the silver edge punch markings as a guide as you go. You can use this strip as is with just the single edge punched, but we're going to keep going and make a double edge trim. Turn the strip over and insert it back into the punch. Again, line the left edge of the strip up with the left edge of the punch base and make sure the punched pattern lines up with its opposite as marked on the wing. To complete your double edge pattern, again punch the entire edge of your strip of paper using the silver markings on the punch wings as a guide as you go. This trim can be used on the edge of a card or a scrapbook page as a band around a special gift or package or can even be used on its own to create beautiful punched paper garlands. Thank you.